the insurance industry has not changed in a hundred years. It hasn't changed in terms of product, and it certainly hasn't changed in terms of how they manage their operations in the back office. But it is finally trying to. And one of the persons driving this change is Gary, who works for a Hong Kong-based global insurance company. Gary knows what all his clients across Asia are looking for in terms of new products, where it be COVID insurance or support for challenges during pregnancy. But whenever he wants to launch one of these ideas to market, he needs to first speak with Alice, the business analyst, who takes that and then has to meet with IT and figure out how do they change their old legacy systems to launch this product. Once that's done, developers finally get to work. And they'll spend six to nine months just with development and testing. And this testing is not just to see if Gary's idea works. It's also to find out what else broke while they were implementing this in the systems. This takes so long that by the time they're done, the market has changed and Gary needs to adjust his product. That means starting the cycle over. This can take up to one year and cost insurers up to three million US dollars. I felt this pain firsthand when I was a CTO for Manulife Financial in Asia. Insurers would like to launch one product a month. Fact is, they can barely manage four products a year. This leaves billions of people without the coverages that they need, and it means for insurers, trillions of dollars left on the table. All of it because of systems that, frankly, are as old as I am. We are Ignatica. We use microservices and blockchain to provide insurers with a digital policy admin platform that allows them to launch products in days at no upfront costs and lower the cost of running their business by 50%. Insurance companies that use Ignatica can give every potential client exactly what they need. That means access to new markets, more clients, and more importantly, give consumers the digital service they expect. Now, let's talk about how this works. Instead of this large IT team, Gary can do this all by himself. All he does is log on to our plan builder where he can edit the benefits, set the limits, load and change rates, things that right now take months of effort done in minutes. He can take all of these plans and bundle them together into custom bespoke options. A few clicks later, launch the product to market. So that whole process that took a year, done in a few clicks. And we take care of the policy admin. All of these expensive paper-based back office products are now automated and digitized. That means the client experience is far better. And we take care of the accounting, the billing, the collections, which is how we make our money. We take a percentage of premium for every policy that we manage. And in Asia Pacific, this is a $1.5 trillion a year market, which frankly could be 10 times as large if insurers could provide all of their clients the products that they need. Right now, insurers are spending $100 billion a year maintaining and supporting these old legacy platforms that are slowing them down and holding them back. But don't take my word for it. Here's the CEO for Accent Hong Kong laying out the facts. If insurers don't transform their core systems, they will become irrelevant. And Ignatica is every insurer's dream. We are faster and more flexible and with our unique technology have a lower total cost of ownership than anything else in the market. Now, about our team. Like I said, I was a CTO for Manulife Financial where not only did I deliver the technology to support 7 million clients across 12 countries, also deliver the digital insurance platform to support a $1.2 billion bank insurance deal. Travis, our president, is a serial entrepreneur who not only managed the 200 million euro uh, venture tech fund, but in his last startup, grew revenues from zero to $132 million a year before his exit. Now, Adish, our CTO, not only built the digital insurance platforms for many life across five countries, he also built uh, JP Morgan's uh, treasury systems, handling billions of dollars of transactions a year. Together, we have assembled a team of over 30 talent with serious expertise on how to deliver and support enterprise solutions for financial services. Since we launched in May, we have already reached $1 million of recurring revenue this year. 
and we are working with both multinationals and regional uh, insurers and brokers and have partnerships with key advisory firms globally. These advisory firms are not only giving us access to the C-suite, but they've also helped us cut our sales cycle in half. And together we have built an additional pipeline of clients that will give Ignatica $8 million a year in recurring revenue. I am very happy to announce also our partnership with Doba to manage $3.7 billion a year on premiums, servicing 30 million clients across mainland China and Asia Pacific. This partnership will give Ignatica 18 and a half million US dollars